so welcome to this uh, live and Q&A session for professional accounting program. Uh, I'm Terry Kwok, at, uh, the undergraduate coordinator at the Department of Accounting. Um, before I start to answer your questions, uh, I'm going to provide you with key highlights of the professional accounting program at the uh, UST. Uh, my highlight will focus on the curriculum enrichment activities, opportunities, and career. Then I'll invite our accounting major student, Sarah, to share with you about her experience at the UST. And after that, we'll answer your question. So now, please feel, uh, feel free to type in your question in the chat box now. When we design our curriculum, we aim to train our students with professional accounting knowledge together with cross-disciplinary skills and develop their business acumen to solve real-life business issues. These are the qualities that are essential to enable our students to excel in the fast-changing world. As such, our students have grown as successful professionals in accounting and also in other disciplines that they are interested to enter, such as banking and finance and management and so forth. The other feature of our professional accounting program is flexibility and choice. Currently, there are four choices that are open to students. There are more in the pipeline. First, as this is a professional accounting program, students can choose their study pathway to pursue for the professional accounting qualification, such as Hong Kong Institute of Certified Public Accountants, the QP pathway. These students usually choose to work in public accounting firm like the big four. Alternatively, students can choose to learn accounting as the language of business to help them better prepare for the other career. Or students can choose to be in the forefront of data-driven technology in accounting and develop their knowledge and skills in using data analytics in accounting by taking the accounting analytic option. Students can also choose QP pathway and the accounting analytic option together. Choosing the AA option will be helpful in the career in the public accounting firms as there are growing demand of talent in this area. We also provide opportunities to students to participate in the variety of enrichment activities to enhance their learning experience and develop their business acumen. These include student exchange program, internship, and numerous student development programs. You will see from Sarah's experience sharing that UST accounting students always stay engaged, not just with their academic affairs, but also with a variety of enrichment activities that they don't want to miss. About the career, 90% of our graduates in 19 at 2019, are full-time employed upon graduation. And about, you know, what kind of jobs they do, um, besides accounting, auditing, and taxation, our graduates also take up a great variety of other jobs. For example, there are significant percentage in um, banking and finance, administration and manager and management. And then we have also some, you know, join the IT field as system analyst and computer programmer. And uh, there are also others join marketing and sales. In the other category, it's interesting that, you know, uh, we find some, you know, work in the art and design and um, a statistics and mathematical work, economics and so forth. So based on the job nature, and also if you look at the employer list, all right, 
and uh, you will see you know, uh, on the employee list. And uh, we have, in fact, you know, a variety of companies that you know, the company joined you know, in, uh, upon graduation. Other than the big four uh, accounting firm, uh, we have a good number of uh, international and local banking groups, such as JP Morgan Chase, Citibank, BNP Paribas, DBS Bank, Hansen Bank, and so forth. Other employers include Bloomberg, Hong Kong Jockey Club, and Hong Kong Government. Um, when you look at you know, the job nature and the employer list, right, um, you can tell that the skills students learn through studying a professional accounting program can be used in professional accounting and also apply to many other disciplines. As our students are trained to be business professional and excel in the field that they enter. Um, so this concludes the key highlights of the professional accounting program. If you're interested to know more, please watch the recorded video on the BBA in professional accounting program talk post on this information website or you know in our HKUSP website if you have not done so. Okay, now uh, let me talk with Sarah about your learning learning experience at the UST. Hello. Hello Sarah. So thanks for Hello. joining the live session. Uh, let's uh, wind back a bit to the time when you were choosing HKUST among different universities. Uh, what made you choose accounting at HKUST? I know you were admitted to um, HKUST as accounting major student under the program-based admission. Uh, any particular reason you choose accounting? Okay, so hello everyone. First of all, I'm gonna introduce myself. My name is Saras. I'm a year three accounting student from Indonesia. And as Terry said, yes, I was admitted through the program-based admission. And the reason why I chose HKUSD is because previously I knew that I wanted to study accounting for a university, but I was not really considering going overseas, like outside of Indonesia for my university life. But then a friend of my mom, she showed me this QS University world ranking application. And she was like, oh, what kind of major do you want? And I said, accounting. And then she showed me and I saw there, oh, okay, this, there's this university, it's HKUSD, it's on the top of the list. And I feel that it's still much more affordable than going to America or to Europe. And it's still not too far from home. And it's a good university. So I choose to, why not? Why not HKUSD? Oh, thank you. Uh Mm -hmm. um, well, um, I know, well, it's not uncommon for our accounting major students to have another major. Um, you have another major besides accounting, I know, uh, but I two do. minors <laughs> as well. Yeah. Um, this is exceptional, I would say. How do you find the workload and manage your, how you manage your academic selves? Um. As a background information for you guys, I'm majoring in accounting and operations management. But if you guys see in the chat message in the chat box, because I was in the chat box earlier for the event for the virtual info day, and it says that I'm majoring in accounting and management, it's because I haven't formally changed it, which I would do in my fourth year, which is next year. And so I'm majoring in accounting and operations management, and I'm minoring in sustainability and psychological and behavioral science. And in terms of workload, I think it's surprisingly manageable because there are courses that can be double counted. That's what we call it. Uh, uh, so we can use it for both my minor and my major or maybe my minor and the other requirement for graduation in HKUSD. So I think that's one of the beauties in HKUSD. That's the flexibility. Although I'm doing two, my, two majors and two minors, I can still have time to do other things. Oh, well, still, you know, it's heavy workload, right? So you still have yeah, it is. enrichment activities? I do, I do. Um, actually, right now, as of like this time, I'm 
at least active in three organizations as the executive committee and one other organization as a member. And I also still have time to volunteer outside of USD and also a volunteer in HKUSD because there are some opportunities there and also volunteer in my hometown, in my in Jakarta, where I am right now, although everything is online. So I think uh, although what I do in university sounds like a lot, but actually they're not. I still have time to do the things that I love. Oh, amazing. Um, well, um, Cyrus, it's very common for our accounting students to have internships, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we have around 95% of the uh, you know, uh, 2019 accounting graduates completed internships. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I know you work part-time you know, uh, before, right? And mm -hmm. um, so will you also plan to do internship in the coming summer? Or? Yeah, I have some experiences doing part-time jobs on campus and also doing some contract uh, project work outside of campus. Like usually it's in my home country because of the non-local student employment restriction. But other than that, I'm planning to do an internship this winter and this summer. I wasn't allowed to, I wasn't able to do it last summer because of COVID, but I'm really hoping that uh, this winter and this summer situation will ease up a bit so I can just work because I really want to try to work because a lot of my friends, they've been doing internships in like banks or big four accounting firms or consulting firms. And I know that it's really an important thing in your university life, especially in Hong Kong. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm planning to uh, apply to logistics companies, startups, or um, airlines, and also consulting firms because I like the hustle and bustle of things. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. Um, okay, so, um, Cyrus, um, HKUST is always in the top ranking, you know, list, you know, at different levels, right? For example, mm -hmm. uh, for accounting and finance, right, in the... Uh, uh, 2020 QS, the World University Ranking by Subject. We are first in Greater China and 20th in the world. Mm -hmm. How do you find yourself being in the world-class university in Asia? Um, okay, oh, wait a second. There's yeah. someone yeah. we need to mute. Okay, all good, I think it should be. I think it's not. <laughs> okay, anyway, so actually, HK is this ranking. Wait a bit. Yeah, maybe wait. I'm supposed to be able to mute him. Yeah, yeah. I can. I, yeah. I, I, I Cyrus, please go on. Okay, all right. Um, so actually, one of the reasons. Okay. Hello? Okay. Um, so one of the reasons why I chose HKUST in the first place is because of the ranking it has. And being in a world-class university, it really boosts my confidence. I feel that if I don't go to HKUST, if I didn't choose HKUST, and maybe if I just go to a university in my home country, I believe that I won't be able to speak like this, especially in English, because it's not my first language in front of these many people. It's almost 230 and it's still yeah. counting. You are speaking a lot yeah. of opportunities, right? Exactly. And also find it really wonderful how I can be exposed to many different cultures, not just Hong Kong culture, Chinese culture, Macau, Korea, or those countries um, surrounding the Hong Kong region, but also other parts of the world. So I think that's what being in a world-class university means to me. It means that I can get to know people from many different backgrounds from all parts of the world. It really helps me uh, find my passion and my true self also. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So um, now uh, you're an international student, right? And uh, mm -hmm. so how do you find life here as an international student? Any particular adjustment, you know, when you first came to Hong Kong? Well, when I first came to Hong Kong, I'm actually, I actually came here uh, alone without my family or without my friends because I was just, it was my first time in Hong Kong. And yeah. to be honest, it was not 
always easy. Like I had to take care of myself, open my own bank account. I had to take care of my bills, speak a totally different language from my mother tongue, opening up myself to many kinds of different people. I mean, um, the adaptation period, it was surprisingly short because I have many friends here and also friends from my home country. So it's not really a big problem. And it's been wonderful because I think it really prepares me for the real world after graduation that I have to really step out of my comfort zone, work with people from different backgrounds and just be myself and be confident. <laughs> uh, how about your, how do you find your life in Hong Kong? You know, and- uh, For, uh -huh, for yeah. everyone, for anyone who's coming to Hong Kong, whether you're an international student or you're a local student, this is from my point of view, but I believe this place that you're on, this place that you're coming to is really a wonderful place. It's really a friendly place for newcomers like me. Although my Cantonese is like honestly super basic, especially I haven't brushed up on it uh, in a while. I haven't been back to Hong Kong since November last year. So uh, my Cantonese is getting worse every day because I don't get to practice it, but I've never really encountered any problem going around in Hong Kong. I also have some wonderful local friends who are always um, ready to help me when I when I ask them stuff, especially about language. So I think this is a really nice place to be. Oh, very good. Uh, okay, last question, but not this. How do mm -hmm. you find a professional accounting program and your learning experience at the UST help you to develop your career aspirations, right? And realize you know, your career aspirations in prison. Um, I really like my program. I really like accounting because it really offers me the flexibility of doing and, and understanding different parts of business. I think this program doesn't necessarily produce just simply accounting professionals. It really produces business people who understands accounting especially with the strong business acumen that we get from the HKUST curriculum. So I'm not just understanding accounting, okay, like, okay, this is, this goes to debit, this goes to credit, but it's much more than that. I really believe what's, I really understand what's going on in business and how to think in a business way so my business can be profitable and everything. And for my career aspiration itself, after graduating from HKUST, I'm planning to either join a consulting company as a consultant or join a logistics aviation air cargo company. I'm choosing air cargo because I think after COVID-19, I believe that airline are super vulnerable. So I think air cargo might be a safer choice. Or I also saw that uh, there's a company, it's an aviation consulting company. I just found it out yesterday and I'm, I'm really looking forward to knowing more about them. So that's my plan for the shorter term. And for the longer term, right. I'm planning to start my own business too because oh. I like volunteering. There are some issues that I strongly believe in. And uh, especially one of the issues is sustainability, as I said in my minor. So I'm planning to start my own business oh. to tackle some sustainability problems in my hometown. It's in Bali. And just make it, uh, for now, it's just a social business that I have in my mind, but I'm, I'm still open to anything. I'm still open to just starting my other business or something, because I believe that in this two years of university, I can still explore myself more and know more about what really suits me and what's my passion. Oh, and this oh. is one of the beauty of, oh, yeah, sorry, Terry. This is one of the beauty of being in a world-class university, I think, for HUSD, because it really opens me up to different opportunities, to different um, like possibilities for my future. And it's just not just about Hong Kong. It's not just about China, not just about my home country, but it's really an international place to be because this is like the gateway to the world, I think HKUST is. And I'm sure when you get to HKUST, you will have more opportunities to try things out because there are a lot of things, enrichment activities for you to try out. And that will help you to be more confident in doing things as you learn along the way. So a tip for me in terms of finding yourself, finding your passion, finding your career aspiration, I think just join as many activities and as possible in university. Don't be afraid to try things out. Don't limit yourself just to your major and just see which one you like the most. Oh, very good. Oh, okay. Thank you, Sarah, yeah, for sharing with mm -hmm. us. And um, uh, Jessica, uh, so uh, yeah. 
Okay, so uh, yes, thank you, thank you, Terry and Saris for the sharing and the introduction. Thank you, Jessica. Well, uh, Michael and I actually have been working very hard to, to answering all the questions in the chat box. But uh, we understand that there are still many questions, but we are running out of time. Uh, many questions about the admissions. So probably I'll just quickly go through the admissions arrangement. Oh, so um, mm -hmm. if you are Drupal's applicants, then we will hold a school-wide interview in May, which is right after the HKDSE. So if you are interested in the accounting program, make sure you put it in your Band A application in your Drupal application right now. Otherwise you won't have time to, you know, handle all the uh, choice modification when you were so busy with the HKDSE. And then uh, interview is not a requirement for admission to the accounting program for Drupal students. Uh, but we strongly encourage you to put to attend the interview if you are invited to, because it's a chance for you to earn the admission bonus. And then you can also get to know the program more. Okay, so for international applicants, we, we will actually invite students to do an online interview where we have some admission decision may be made without an interview. So again, it's not a must, but if you are invited to do one, please do one. It's, uh, it's a chance for you to earn an admission bonus as well. Um, and then for the score, I share two links in the chat box to show the admission scores uh, last year. For DSE students, the median score is 37, lower quarter is 36, and this is the weighted score, which means we multiply the English and math times two, and then the best four subjects. If you want to compare, okay, how much score I have to support, uh, uh, get in each DSE subject, it will be 4.5 out of the seven. Seven equivalent is equivalent to five SASA. IB, around 36 for program-based. School-based, it will be around 34. GCE, uh, school-based admissions, it will be AAB. And then for program-based, it will be AAA or about. Okay, so uh, I just mentioned school-based and program-based. I believe that if you watch the pre-recorded uh, the video, you will know that there are two ways you can get into the DBA accounting program. So uh, in the previous year, most of our students, around 65% of our students actually come through the school-based route. And don't worry, it won't hurt you in terms of academic progress or the chance to get into professional accounting. Because in the major, around half of the seats will be reserved for students uh, who join the HKUST business school through school-based route and then choose their major that you want. So don't worry about that. The question is, if you have strong interest in accounting right now, put it in your application paper, no matter you are Jupas or non jupas students. If you want to take time to explore your interest, you can choose the school-based. One final tip from me is that for program-based applicants, uh, when you put the BBA accounting program in your application, you can actually also put the school-based choice, business and management in the application for concurrent consideration. And this is the way to maximize the chance for admission to the HKUST business. Okay, so uh, uh, because the time is very limited today, uh, uh, our booth reps, I believe Dr. Paul and, and Cyrus and I myself will also be in the program booth the accounting program booth. If you have any further questions about admissions, about the programs, about student life, please uh, feel free to visit our program booth and then we will be there until eight this evening. Okay, so thank you so much for joining the session um, today. And then thank you, Dr. Terry Kwa. Thank you, Saras, for the beautiful okay. sharing. Um, and then, so I wish everyone luck and then stay well, stay healthy. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you, Jessica. Okay. Thank you, Jessica. Okay, thank you everyone for coming. Hope yep. that we'll see you at the USD in September mm -hmm. next year. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.